Precious, my baby. Her name is. My name? Is. Yes, sorry. My dad. This is my mom. Welcome. Welcome. To. Our. Our. Channel. Channel. <laughs> Hi guys, so today I will be telling you guys the story of how I got pregnant at 15 and had my baby at 16. So, um, I'll start off by saying that. So, my baby's dad and I have known, well, we started dating, we have known each other for quite some time. Um, I would see him almost every time I would go visit my family in California because that, at the time that's where he lived with his family and um, that's where I saw him again. I wouldn't, I wouldn't see him often because of like the distance and I usually never talked to him because it was funny to me. I always felt like he was such a... Um, he was, um, how do you call it? Like, he thought he was all that. And I always hated, like, seeing him. And I always had that, like, mindset of how he was. And I didn't like him. My sisters didn't like him. We personally, none of us really liked him <laughs> at that point. Um, we've known each other since I was about five. He's like four years older than me, I think. So, yeah, he's four years older than me. So, he was like nine at the time when I first saw him. And I never really liked him. Like I said, I always thought he was like a person who thought he was all that. When I started talking to my baby's dad, I was 14 at the time. And. I was about to turn 15. My birthday was on January 26th. And um, my parents always told me that I was not allowed to have a boyfriend until I was 15. So, um, we were talking for a while. And then he asked me out and we started dating. It was really hard at first because, like, I lived in Oregon and he lived in California. And it's, like, 12 hours away. And I didn't really see him. We would only, like, text and stuff. Um, that year of when I turned 15, I was going to California because I was going to have a quinceañera. And my parents didn't want me to have it here in Oregon. They wanted me to have it in California because all of our family is over there. So it would be really awkward to have, them, to have all of them come here instead of us just going over there ourselves we were less people so i left to california fifth when i left to california that day and i was honestly like scared because i didn't like i knew who i was gonna live with but like i never really spend that much time with them so it was a little awkward for me um when i got to california i did spend um like a week at where my parents decided I was going to stay but then I decided that I wanted to go with my aunts because I felt more at home because I knew my aunt and it was my dad's brother and my uncle so I prefer to stay there um I also decided to stay there because like I was gonna help my aunt take care of um my cousins while my aunt worked, I would take care of both of my cousins and I would cook for them and we would always do fun things together. Um, but that year, every afternoon, I almost every afternoon, I spent practicing um, the quinceanera dances and it was pretty fun because I got to talk to people and stuff. I also got to go out with like my aunt and my uncle. Like We went to um, Pis Pismo Beach and it was really fun i honestly really enjoyed it so um after the quinceanera happened and all that um 
I decided that I wanted to stay in California. So I told my parents and I was gonna move in with my boyfriend. Um, and they at first weren't, um, they didn't like it. They were pretty mad that I wanted to do that. Um, and they said no at first and they said, okay, um, you're gonna have to come back with us to Oregon and maybe in a month or two, we can go see you and then we'll decide from there. So when we, when I went back to Oregon, it was like June and um, his parents and him came down in September. And I was still like, I still had the mindset that I wanted to move in with him in, in September. So they said okay and they let me go to live in California. Yeah, I moved in with him when I was 15. He was 18? Yeah, 18 or 19 then. So then when, um, one day when I was living with his family, I would always say, like I would stay home. Um, I stayed home for a couple of, like for like a week because um, I was trying to go back to school there. Um, the school that I was going to go to was Arvin High School, um, which is in Arvin, California, which is really close to Bakersfield. Um, I was one day like cleaning and somehow I slipped and I fell and like then my back started to hurt. Um, and that happened for like a week. So that happened for a whole week and they were all pretty worried because they didn't know what was wrong with me. So at this time, I personally did not think I was pregnant because I was on birth control. So it never like went through my mind. And um, they took me to, well, um, his mom and I went to the doctor and um, they asked the normal questions like, when was your last period and all that and I said I said in September and they didn't really think much of it but they still wanted to get like a pregnancy test you know just to make sure and when he came back and he said positive I was like yeah right because I knew I was on birth control so it didn't really cross my mind and then um he said I like the doctor said I was and they gave me the um the slip that they give you when you're pregnant and it says like positive your birthday your name and when you found out and stuff he gave me that and then we went to the car and he was waiting for me outside and um I didn't tell him <laughs> his mom told him that I was pregnant and he was like no you're not and I was like yeah and then that night, um, I called my mom and I called my dad. And when I first told them, um, they, they hung up on me and they were like, we'll call you back, I have to go do something. And I knew they didn't want to talk to me because they said like this was gonna happen and they didn't want that for me yet. They didn't want me to go through the struggle. So um, I cried I think for like 30 minutes and then my boyfriend was like why are you crying like we'll be fine um and then I kept going to school to Arvin high school but I didn't really like it because it was really different from what I was used to like um here where I used to go um um, there are six periods and you know, it's like 45 minutes each period and um, in Arvin there was only three periods a day and An hour and a half long. I think they were and I didn't like it. So Together we made the decision to come back to Oregon with my parents and um because it would be a lot easier for me to go to school here. It was a lot less people. And like I knew mostly everybody here. So it was going to be a little easier for me. But in that sense it was also harder. Because they were going to know I was pregnant. And they were going to see me pregnant. And um, it was also easier for us. Because I have like all my insurance and stuff here. So it was just going to be easier for me to go in the doctor. And just like get an appointment that if I were in California I would have had to wait a good three months 
So we decided to come here and we lived with my parents and we still, we still do. Um, we move places, but we still, like my parents still live with us. Um, when I first started to go to school, I had, when I first came back to school, nobody really knew, only um, like two friends. Um, their names are Haley and Megan. And I've always been super grateful to them because they never like left my side just because I got pregnant. I was a person like before I got pregnant, like I had a lot of friends and when you get pregnant, it's when you realize who your real friends are and who the fake ones are. <laughs> um, anyway, when I first started to go to school, I had like a lot of PE classes and I couldn't take PE. So um, I was trying to get out of them and like the teachers wouldn't let me. So I had to like tell them like I'm pregnant and at first they didn't believe me. So I had to take in like paperwork, but I actually was. I ended up having to tutor um, two kids because I couldn't take um, PE. So I had to leave school early, I think like a month early because I ended up getting preeclampsia um, when I, well, they told me I had preeclampsia. So I had to stop going to school a month early. So I had to take all my finals a month early and half of the stuff that were in the finals I didn't personally know because they were still like topics that um, they had to cover in that month. I ended up passing all my finals surprisingly. <laughs> um, and I ended up um, a whole month in the house. So her due date was on June 12th. 12th of 2016 um she was not born on her due date she was born on june 14 2016 so she went over like two days i didn't go to the hospital because i started to get really bad contractions i um i had an appointment on the 13th of june to just like check and you know like to see how much i was progressing and that morning, I decided, um, okay, I'm going to go take a walk with my niece before I go to the doctor. So maybe it will help, like, speed up the process. When I went, like, the whole morning, I had, like, little contractions, but nothing, like, super big. Um, when I got to the doctors, they check you and they, like, check the baby's heartbeat and, like, how big your belly is getting and... Um, she said her heartbeat was good and um, everything was um, great. <laughs> and then she checked me to see how many centimeters I was dilated and I was at a four. And I had, um, I wasn't going to be able to go home because I had the group B strep and that came back positive for mine. So I, they decided that it was better for me to just go walk for like two hours and then go straight to the hospital because they were going to have to administer antibiotics so that she would be good at that time i didn't feel any pain i personally was good until i got to like uh an eight and a half then is when i started to really 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 feel the pains and i started to be really uncomfortable but from a four to a seven while i was there i was laughing with my mom i was laughing with my baby's dad I wasn't really thinking much of it until I got to like an eight and a half is when I started to feel like the pain and like the discomfort. Um, she was born on June 14 of 2016 at 1 21 a.m. And um, I had like second degree tears so they um ended up giving me a lot of medication and it was making me really sleepy so they took the baby away from me and gave it to her dad so that he would take care of her for a while and um after that um my mom and him were really tired and like I had the baby and I was feeding her um so they ended up passing out and I was like awake the whole time 
because I was scared like something was gonna happen to her while I was sleeping. So I ended up um, just staying up until one of them decided to get up. Then I took like a little bit of a nap. Um, on the 13th that we had the appointment, um, we called um, his parents and his family to tell him that like she would be coming that day and um, his parents decided that they wanted to come down so um, they packed their bags and they were here um, the day she was born at like 12 so they packed their bags really fast so they would come meet her and um, her grandparents were really happy we had a uh, we struggled a little bit after we had her because the DHS was called on us but that could be another video <laughs> on what happened there and what we had to do and um but after that everything was really good um um the baby was perfectly fine i was perfectly fine and um i decided to instead of taking like pills or the shot i decided that we were well um my doctor also decided that it was better to get the um thing that goes right here don't remember what it's called but that kind of birth control and then I wasn't feeling good for a while so I ended up taking it out um and yeah that's how I that's the story of how I was pregnant at 15 and I had my baby at 16 so as of now she is two years old almost three and I am I just turned 19 Everything's going really good for us, and I'm still with my baby daddy. Um, we have been together for four years now, so everything is good there. But yeah. Hi guys. Dile bye. Bye. Dile please. Please. Subscribe. Subscribe. And like our video. Video. Dile this one best. Bye. <laughs> See you guys next video. Like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome.